Hello there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. I watched Aladdin on Sunday night. John, last night. I saw it Sunday before Game of Thrones aired at Real D 3D screening. Thank you, Real D, for inviting me because I had a wonderful time and the Real D experience was great, especially in the musical numbers. I know some people have been a little bit iffy about whether or not this will work on 3D. Take my word for it, it certainly does. And lastly, I want to thank everyone who has been downloading and following us on the Stardust app. Over there, we do 30 second reaction reviews for any film tv show or trailer sometimes micro sketches we post daily completely free to download and use here's my aladdin stardust post i can show you a world where guy Ritchie directs a movie with will smith as the genie he is pretty damn good it has a clunky act one but the rest of the movie sure is a hell of a lot of fun. A little too on the nose with feminism, but some of it got to my heart. Enjoy! Hey, trust me, there's many more to talk about other than what's in that cringeworthy bit. Let's go into this. John, what'd you think? I thought this was a pleasant surprise, actually. I mean, I didn't love it. I thought maybe that this would be a little better than the trailer led on, and I kind of got that experience out of it. I thought the leads were really charming. Will Smith Smith actually is one of the best parts of the movie. I had a wonderful time. I think Act 1 is a very clunky. <laughs> it feels very rushed. It feels yeah. like it's in a rush to get to Act 2. And that's when the movie really started to click for me. When you get to the part where Aladdin does, you know, get the lamp and unleashes the genie, mm -hmm. the part that I was most concerned about after seeing, you know, that terrible visual effects and that teaser, Will Smith singing Prince Holly, uh. which just seems so cringy. When you get to that, that moment and you get to the number never had a friend like me that was a dazzling experience it oh, earned yeah. a big round of applause because during act one i could feel the audience because i was there with them unintentionally laughing at stuff some of us were just out loud going what <laughs> during act one but when you got to that number i feel like the whole crowd got one over and we all started applauding and there's a lot of things with the singing with will smith that they do to sort of mask uh, his lack of power in his vocals they do a lot of backup vocals there's a lot of more instruments going on yeah, well, <laughs> but, and certain songs just lend themselves more to what his voice can do with a lot of expressive power you know some of the lower end or some of the more characterized stuff yeah. actually he does a really good job with it's just when he has to do the more broadway style singing that it's a little flat even in those numbers though there's still plenty to get from it that are so enjoyable well and the imagination behind it too because as much as you know we wondered like oh the original animation was so crazy and how could mm -hmm. we do that live we crap on cgi a lot but they did some amazing animation and some really fun, dazzling set pieces with those songs. And before going into this, I was worried that this was just going to be Will Smith's movie, but it wasn't. No. To me, this is still Aladdin and Jasmine's movie. Weirdly, more Jasmine's movie than <laughs> Aladdin's movie. They don't do anything different with Aladdin, really. I really like the actor who plays Aladdin, yeah. Mina Masood. He is Aladdin. Like, you're like, oh yeah, he's, he's the animated character right he's there. He really did charming, it. Yeah. Very charming, very charismatic. I fell in love myself. His singing range is wonderful. <laughs> Naomi Scott as Jasmine. This is where a lot of the changes really come into play with yeah. her character because of the modern times we live in. They made her much more of a character. <laughs> they made her much more of a character. Matter of fact, in Act 1, there's like one line that happens <laughs> that's so on the nose where oh, my yeah. girlfriend and I looked at each other and I feel like a lot of people are going to pick up on this where we went... <laughs> They're going to change that ending, aren't yeah. they? Oh, <laughs> and you, just, yeah. you just knew they were going to change that ending. I yeah. I'm not going to go into specifics as to how, but you, I think if you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking we'll figure about. figure it out. And if you haven't seen it, even if I didn't say that, you'd, be, you'd know you'll, already. You'll feel yeah. the line when it, when it hits you. And also, I really love the chemistry between Aladdin and Jasmine. Yeah. They're romance yeah. is so felt in this movie. When they got to the part of A Whole New World, I started to tear up. I didn't see that coming. You know, we got a boo in here. Who's a... He's a monkey. He's cute. He's adorable. He's a boo. Yeah, and you got the carpet as well, who I, I thought, you know, had a lot of fun, at least characterization and stuff like that. Yeah, I kind of feel like you won't really love the carpet unless you've seen the Aladdin animated movie, but most people who watch this have seen the Aladdin animated movies. There's a lot in this movie that is not in the original animated movie. There's plenty that is, but there's also a lot that isn't. They invented brand new scenes. They rewrote a lot of new scenes. There's, there's some new, new song, musical numbers yeah, in here. Jasmine. Some of the stuff in here that I criticize is can be a little too on the nose with its 
women's feminism. I like the ideas. I like the concepts. Some of it even really got to my heart. Same time, it's insanely on the nose. <laughs> like it, it really <laughs> does. Like this is a movie. like way too much. Yeah, yeah it's it's like a, a, another one of those things where I really like the idea, and I think it's appropriate for this character. And in a time where we are seeing Disney retread a lot of their classics, you know, and people complain when they do them too faithfully, I think this is a perfect one to update. It's not on the movie's mind to live very much in that side of the story in order to earn how much focus it wants to put on it in a couple of key scenes. No, it seems like it's really infused in this remake. <laughs> it feels like <laughs> some kind of note. Yeah. Thing. This is a movie where, to me at least, I, I definitely agree that the first act is choppiest, but I could definitely feel the economics of the editing throughout this movie. Oh yeah, it's clunky throughout. Um, and yeah, that was one of those things that, like, Naomi Scott really delivers the passion and the song because the song is is meant to bolster those scenes too. And, and it's to the movie's credit that they have the original composer to make that song. It does stick out a bit like a sore thumb in the midst of some other stuff that is a lot more fluid. Well, it's not just that with the, the song number. It's also Jafar and Jasmine oh, scenes yeah. because every scene Jafar gets with Jasmine is just to remind her she's a woman and oh, that she yeah. should be silent. <laughs> yeah. you, should, you can make it's, a drinking game out of the amount of times he tells her to be seen and not heard. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> so often. The guy who plays Jafar, I really felt like he gave it his all. I, I felt like he was going for this like human approach to Jafar as opposed to mustache twirling villain. To me, I think he's I, still, I think he's fine. I think he's good. He's honestly the most forgettable performance out of it, but it, a lot of that has to do with the writing and direction of his character. They were trying something different with him that I ultimately feel like didn't really stand out. He was very close for me. He got a lot of hate in the trailer for whatever reason. I really liked the actor who played him. I liked uh, uh, Marwan Kanzari a lot as mm -hmm. the character, but yeah, ultimately he's not quite there in the writing. The most unexpected character, the one <laughs> who I don't think anyone really expected anything out of, is a character named Dahlia, played by Nassim Pedrad from uh, SNL, I believe. She is the scene stealer. She is. She is <laughs> underlined so hilarious <laughs> yeah. in this movie. I was and so, so surprised. Like, like, such a great character. Like, you start to root for her. <laughs> and one thing that's great about this movie, too, is this whole cast, whenever they're interacting, they all have good chemistry. I think that was sometimes miss in movies like this is the individual performances are good, but ensemble is not really clicking. Yeah. But I think whenever Aladdin's with Genie, it's great. Aladdin and Jasmine. Jasmine and Dahlia, Dahlia is great. There's a lot of chemistry all around and there's a lot of energy infused in here yeah. it's not full-blown guy Ritchie style but there are a lot of scenes that feel like guy Ritchie I especially. feel like they let him have a scene or two here or there yeah be like what's a cool visual yeah. trick you can throw on this the like, way they play with like frame rate the way they pl play with like when scenes are sped up or slowed down he was a co-writer on this yeah. so there's a, a certain amount of like comedic dialogue and just scenes that are not in the original Aladdin movie that really hit as a matter of fact there's a lot yeah. of those scenes that really shined, that weren't in the original animated movie. And that is not something you could say about a lot of these live action remakes. That is definitely yeah. true. And I went in most skeptical of the choice to have Guy Ritchie do this. And it's still one of those things that's a partial hit for me on this. Like part of me would have liked to have maybe even seen like a Bollywood director get a shot at a movie like this. But I, I will say that, yeah, I thought uh, when the movie was working, I could really feel Guy Ritchie's skill and talent, especially for effects and interesting camera elements, because right. not all these movies have the most seamless effects even on the big huge budget scale yeah. and I thought a lot of the visuals and a lot of the way they were woven into everything were pretty impressive overall. All I know is saying this we all know like the production the costumes all that's going to be wonderful. A lot of what I thought would be bad or cringy really worked for me in this yeah. movie. For starters Will Smith as the genie. I, I know we already praised him in it but he really does make it his own and he lets loose a lot. It's not only Will Smith being Will Smith. A different side of Will that we have haven't seen it on the big screen in a long time. Yeah. Uh, even the musical number, Prince Ali, while it's not, <laughs> the, not like his vocals have drastically improved, the number itself, I wasn't cringing when I watched, like the way I watched it when I saw it on YouTube was like, oh my God, this is going to be horrible. But yeah. then, but, but the lead into that and the overall tone and vibe and the way they've established the genie, I wasn't watching that scene cringing. I was actually really enjoying it. Jafar is like still whatever to me. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, and I also like what they invented. So I was pretty impressed. I would give it like three and a half stars out of like a logical technical mm -hmm. point of view but out of an emotional point i had so much fun that i would give this four stars yeah i mean i think this is a movie where everything is is a 
bit hit or miss, but most of the important elements, I think they really do hit. I like the leads a lot. I like their chemistry a lot. Uh, you know, there is some really great singing. There is some flat singing. There are some really great visual, you know, techniques and, and elements and stuff like that. This is an example of going back to something and saying, what made that work? Not just how exactly do we copy it? Yeah. And I think Will Smith was the right guy to do that. Not like loving this movie, but I had a really nice time and I was pleasantly surprised by it. So yeah, like three, three and a half, I think is a, is a good rating. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, did you see this Aladdin movie already? Are you excited for it? Do you want to see a Jasmine Solo movie? <laughs> you guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Click that notification bell. Make sure to follow us on the Stardust app. If you like this video, hit the like button. And lastly, thank you again, Real D3D for the invite.